Spargo the Big Dip. Yeah, Spargo the Big Dip, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Chapter 9. Pokemaster Ian appeared in a tree and fell to the ground. He bounced back up a few feet and then hit the hard ground. He brushed himself off, and up ahead was an arch with a sign over the top. It said, The Forest, oh crap, p p p p p p ness and there was a star man standing under it who came over to greet him. Pokemaster Ian just humped it, and it died and melted into a pile of crap. He entered and immediately knew he would hate this place. First Seven, of all, it was eight. highly dense with trees. The forest was full of tiny little noises. As Pokemaster Ian was walking, a little dog came out of nowhere and started humping his leg. But this was no ordinary dog. It was Alpha, and he was happy. Pokemaster Ian was scared and ran away like a girl. More crappy characters from Cubivore appeared everywhere. A flock of birdos flew by above the trees. It began to rain, but the droplets were cubes. Pokemaster Ian ran into the hollow of a cardboard tree and shook himself to sleep. Day two. Okay. I'm okay. going to assume that the count is somewhere around, like, 15 or 17 now. <laughs> Poke <laughs> Pokemaster Ian woke to the sound of birds chattering. It was a sunny day, but the light came from a cube-shaped sun. Pokemaster Ian got out and stretched. From the bushes came a group of Mr. Game & Watch characters. They all had different 2D weapons, and there were about ten of them. As they advanced, Pokemaster Ian could hump away about three of them, but 2D characters were hard, and they began to overwhelm him. He fought valiantly, but they didn't care about his gayness, and he was forced to retreat. They chased him around for a while before he fell in a hole and disappeared. He flew out of a hole on the sixth day and landed upon the ground. Day six, Pokemaster Ian realized he had lost a ton of time, but luckily he didn't have far to go. About ten years... Ten yards away was the largest, most massive tree he had ever experienced in his life. What the hell? The park in the knot strangely formed a face in the tree, but it was frowning. The black, shriveled leaves of this ominous being were few and scarce upon the branches. The mouth of the face opened, and a foul wind came out of it. Pokemaster Inn had time to glimpse a Goomba staring at him before the tree sucked him in and when he was plunged into darkness. Some torches lit themselves, and Pokemaster Inn saw he was in a giant arena. The floor yeah. was all wood, and it was enclosed by some moss ropes. Okay, we're finally past it. Yeah, that was like some 30, over, uh, over 30, some, over mid-30 vault board collections. God, I picked a terrible chapter to read from. <laughs> like, they, they all Yay. suck, but this one was really bad. But yeah, Yay. that was four times speed. I don't know why I collected all those bodies. Collect the bodies. It was super important. Collect all of them. Oh god. Ooh, fun if fact. Um, I gotta love the fun fact. Let me see if I can find it. Um, uh, Joey, I'm doing stuff. Leave me alone. Um, sublevels three through nine. We're all done without dying. Yay. Joey. And kids are bugging you. Yes, they are. Joey, go away. Stop bugging him. That's another thing, that's another annoying thing Justin does. He always sends Joey as a messenger pigeon to go, like, say, he needs help with this part, and then does a bad job of explaining the part, so it's like, what the hell? Pointless much? God. Kids annoy me so much sometimes. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, but you didn't bring it directly underneath me, so I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, god, this segment sucks so bad so far. Like... Yay. But the footage sucks, so the commentary fits. Yay. Basically, wah, there's wah, really no... Baby Pharaoh wants milk. Someone fetch me a nipple. <laughs> okay, boss. Thank God. Yay. Something this I can actually comment on. Something awful. I hate something awful. I don't even know what something awful is. I just I, I've apparently you have to pay money to join us. It. It's just a message board, a f f rather generic one. 
and yet, like, all Anyways, the cool people go Anyways, here is the it. giant enemy crab. Yay. Or, technically, it's like a lobster, but... Giant enemy crab lobster. Used rollout. Boom. It's super effective. <laughs> Used rock slide. It's not very effective. I failed. Okay, so, uh... You used something or other. It didn't work. It slams that claw with such force into the ground and into the wall, and yet neither of those things kill Pikmin, from what I can remember. Mm-hmm. Uh... This is the boss Attack that I'm Attack its weak point for massive damage. <laughs> Yay, overused jokes. But at least it fits. But yeah, this is the boss that I'm least familiar with because it doesn't show up in challenge mode at all, so this is the only time you ever fight it. Uh, I had no idea it what the bleeds. hell I was doing in this fight. And it, like, bleeds rainbows. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> like... I had to still do it five times before I finally got a successful attempt at it, but the first time, it, my god. I'm just like, what do I do? Because, I mean, obviously I've beaten the game before, but it was a long time since I did that. You use this rollout and rock slide to great effect. And hammer us. arm. Wait, no, it's crab hammer. Yeah. Yeah, and crab hammer. I'm surprised it doesn't use guillotine at all. Okay. Oh my god, and the the nectar that drops here is just like, it's like a booby trap, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, because you, you get one stuck drinking it, and then it gets crushed. Yeah, or flattened by a boulder. But I, the thing I hate about this thing is you have to be on a certain side of it to attack it, because just of the way that the claw works. Because you don't want it, it... It attacks its right side, so you have to, like... Be prepared for that when it flips, so you have to approach it from the other side. Also, when it sits still, you can hear it going like... <laughs> That's like, it's it sticks out these little, like, thingies out of its mouth. And apparently that's like, it's smelling or, like, looking around. Okay. See, you can hear... It's like... <laughs> I still have it muted. I will listen to it later. I'm sure you will. If you can hear it, because I have to like train myself to hear it. This is another good yeah. place where the lobster knife fight would have fit in. <laughs> it really would have. But <coughs> I used it already. You can put it in again, but no, you don't need to. Yeah, I won't. Um, not. Yeah, I guess still there's not too much to say about this thing. It still takes forever to kill, and I can't really use purples effectively because they don't move fast enough. I'm only using 15 reds because I barely have enough time to throw that many onto it. And the, the annoying the and the annoying part about boulders. and the annoying part about this boss is that um, well, about every boss really is that um, it only like. I don't know. If you use a super bitter spray on any bosses, its defense is like vastly increased when you're attacking it. Yeah, you can't damage stuff worth crap. If it has like a 50th of its life left, you might be able to kill it during the time that it's frozen, but even that is kind of stretching, stretching it. Out. I love it how its weak point is not at all damaged by rocks falling on it. <laughs> yeah. And now it dies. Blah! Huge explosion of, like, bubble orange gum. Juice. And orange juice. And now we've got this thing. Which was originally valued at 666. Oh, God. Why is it so creepy? It's almost as creepy as the LG of Emptiness statue. <laughs> Oh my god. And you had to make that your wallpaper, didn't you? And now it's rem and it also reminds me somewhat of the, um, this giant, thing is the giant creepier. floating baby head from Phineas and Ferb. And I, ha I have to show it as like, close up for as long as possible, but I, I guess I didn't, never mind. Yeah, this thing is creepier than the effigy of emptiness. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> ah! Oh god! Yeah, it's 670 now. They bumped it up a bit to make it slightly less inappropriate. But it was so much better at 666. <laughs> yeah, there was never a 
steady number of Pocos that you get from all the treasures in the games, because the PAL version has different treasures anyway, so... Yay. It's... Wah. From what I remember, it's not a huge deal, and especially since you can get bodies also. Fruit guard? Yes. I must always comment on the last one on the list. Yay. Yeah. 236 bucks worth of corpse. At least half That's of that had of to have been from the dwarf bulb orbs. Yep. Okay. So now we head over to the dream den and then we cut because... I don't have anything recorded that. beyond this yet. If there is a huge jump in video quality... Please don't That's kill why. me for not doing that earlier. <laughs> but, like, I was never able they, to get, um... They totally will, and you know it. I know. It's like... So you may as well it was just like 60, 60 segments into Fire Red Omega, and then I finally realized, oh, hey, there's a filter that makes it look better. And then everybody got, ran <laughs> got like, all rage, rage filled. I don't think they did, actually. Filled with hate and rage. Okay, quiet here. Are they doing it? There they go. Yay. I love that. Yeah, if you have 20 of each... You're not supposed to do this cave with 20 of each, but... I said screw it, I'm doing it anyway. Because Whoa, it revived. Yeah. Um, and I think it yeah, it wakes up too. <laughs> Cut it close much. Hurry up! No, must not hurry, hurry up. Hurry your ass up! Oh come on, the cave is right there. I'll be fine. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find Perhaps Louie you'll in here, because you've checked every other cave in the game and you haven't I found him. I love it him. how he, like, says how horrible this cave is. So okay. yeah, I'm specifically filibustering here to go in Dive. with no time left. Yay. And Skype Yay, dies, the apparently. call dropped in the last 15 seconds worth um, of recording. Well, shit. We will not scrap the segment, we will just say... <laughs> wow. See you next time, everybody. At least it did it at the end. And this is now the second time in two separate game playthroughs where the last segment of the week had Skype die at the end of it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my audio. Uh, see you for the Dream Den when I have that recorded. Goodbye.